I have been saving the dirt on the car just for this video. After a full track day and then a full drive where Todd and I have gone scouting and we've looked at new roads and it rained and there was dirt and a lot of tar in the road, I promise you she's dirty. Probably the dirtiest she's ever been in my ownership. I want to bring to you the one bucket method and I promise I am not trying to troll the internet. This is just me trying to find a better solution and you're going to see. But I want to go around the car and show you using Griot's products how I've cleaned my cars. I like a little bit of warm water to start with. I've warned you about this sure process in the podcast. I warned you just, you get just started. brace I mean, Especially on a track day. Yeah, a lot of brake dust comes out. See, I promised you she was dirty. So I'm starting with just the wheels and I'll get to the rest of the car. And also something to note is your water. And I'm a little bit obsessive, I know, but I like to have filtered water. And Griot sells filters. He did just say filtered water. water. We're beyond a little bit obsessive. That's the biggest reason that I'm doing this in the shade. You want to remember shade. It'll keep you cooler, but the spots won't form quite as quickly. And it gives you time to get around the car and get everything cleaned up. This is the dirty wheel water. This is what I want to clean the wheels with and then rinse the bucket thoroughly if you end up going to the two bucket method or you know, any bucket method. I'm doing it old school with the bucket method, right? I still think it's one of the best ways to clean your car and get to know your car. Actually, from a design point of view, I actually like touching the surface and knowing the car better. But there's the, the foam cannons, you can use those. There's the waterless, there's all kinds of way to wash your car. And then there's the automatic car washes, which this baby will never see as long as I own it. So what I like to do is get the wheels soaking with the oil and grease cleaner. And this little handy pump action squirt bottle gets even the oil and grease cleaner going on here. And yes, it is safe for wheels in addition to the wheel cleaner. And what's nice about having this long brush, you can see this long brush that I've got. I can actually get into the inside of the rim, which is great because that's usually where people don't clean their wheels. And I guarantee you any automatic car wash isn't going to get on the inside of your rim. This goes on too. And that gets starting to soak in there. This brush is so great for getting in between the spokes. And now you can get in to the inside of the rim. Little trick to get your brush past the caliper, stick it in over the caliper first, then twist it 180 degrees, and then you can scrub the inside of the rim. This is going to mostly take care of these rather difficult to clean wheels. Mostly? You're not done but with then, wheels yet? I also do it by hand. So I take any wash mitt and I start, after I do all that, I go after each of the spokes individually because I get down in and around where the spokes connect to the rim surface. Look at that. Once you rinse, on to the fun part, the surfaces. Yeah, I use sheepskin. I highly prefer sheepskin. It's a natural fiber. It's actually the best for the paint, in my opinion. And uh, you'll see what I mean when it collects dirt here. But what, what you want to do to start with is go ahead and soak the entire car. And I'm going to need some bug remover on the front of this guy because of all the bugs. But make sure you soak it really well because there's a layer of dust and dirt on there that you can get off just by rinsing. Now, as you can see, we've got the soap bucket here. Ooh, really dirty. Hello. Yeah, you need just a good rinse. You can see we've got the soapy wash bucket, which has the grate in the bottom of it, so dirt and, and particles float down to the bottom. But we've also got the second bucket here. And I'm using it to show you the differences in washing. But you always want to start from the top down. Get it really, really nice and soapy. And always work top down. I also like just doing some of the top surfaces to begin with. Just getting soap on the car. Hang on, hang on. Did he just individually in soap a wiper blade? Top sections and work your way down like a layer cake. I haven't even gotten to the dirty part yet, but you can, yeah, you can kind of see a little bit of dirt, but just hang with me. Here's my secret. I like to actually use the hose to soak everything and blow the stuff out of the sheepskin. I think it gets it much cleaner than using the two bucket method. All right, I'm gonna do the side of the car so you can see what I'm talking about. You wanna make sure you go one direction. See the dirt? I wanna show you the dirt. That's from one pass. 
clean on this side. Dirt, yeah. And it doesn't rinse off as well. See, so check this out. I think far, far better to rinse it with your hose. That gets it clean. That way you don't have to use this second bucket. Here we go again. Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep going on the back side here. Whoa. <laughs> That's nasty. All right, here we go. Dirty, dirty here. This is the clean area. Rinse water. Doesn't quite get it all clean. So I take the hose and finish it off. I might as well just do this and not have to keep changing my bucket, right? Okay, all right, I'm actually learning now. I'm never gonna do this, but I'm learning. I've got some bug and tar spray just soaking on the bugs on the front here. And that way when I come by, hopefully they come right off. Time for a little scrubbing action. Let's put that over there. It also helps having your hand free so you can feel the paint and how smooth it is and you can feel where there's stuff still in your paint. Like right there. Ooh, yeah, coming right off. Very nice. All right, flipping sides. Look how good that looks. Keep rocking. Oh, nice rubber chunks here. Is it squeaking? Has he cleaned the car so much it's squeaking? Again, since I'm in the shade, it stays wet until I come back with the drawing towels. Look at that. Love it. And the biggest thing to remember is once you're done, you never want to wring out sheepskin. You always just want to squeeze until the water's out of it. And then you let it air dry. There you go. Keeps your sheepskin clean. Once you've got the water turned off and everything's pretty much cleaned up, you get to move to the drying stage. You can use two different colors here, and this is where color for towels comes in handy because you don't want to, you know, color use the same knife you use to cut up raw chicken towels. that you do on the vegetables. Same thing with your towels. You want to use either the gray, the microfiber here, or this really super absorbent towel. Either one is fine, but then once you've got the rest of your towels going for speed shine, windows, and the dirty towels rag, they're all different colors. And you want to get drying right away as soon as you're starting, or as soon as you've finished all your washing, you want to get drying immediately so water spots don't form. But what's great is if they do, you can always come back with speed shine and take care of them. You definitely don't need to take as long as I do, only when it's really dirty. A few water spots starting to form over here. Don't forget, you can use the code every day to get 15% off liquids and 10% off everything else at griotsgarage.com. Griot's products are easy to use and they'll answer your questions Jeez. whenever you call them. It's dirty. I don't think I've ever owned a car that was this clean. <sighs> this is not meant to be an instructional video, it's just how I do it using some really great products. Tune into the podcast on Tuesdays and Fridays where we're doing the car debate for you, deciding what car we think you should buy next. And catch all of our TV seasons on Amazon Prime as well. And don't forget to watch us on the Motor Trend Cable Channel. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate it. Cheers, everyone.